hospitality? What are the careers uh, that are, uh, or what are the options that are available after hospitality? What is the expectation uh, when you choose hospitality as a career? So we will be talking all of that and uh, I'll be sharing a screen now. So just give me a second. Yes, so I've shared the screen and I hope that it is visible to everyone. So uh, this session uh, was supposed to be done by me, Professor, Munja, uh, Professor Sandeep Munjal and myself, which is Dr. Anjana Singh, but he's an, uh, unavailable and he's busy with the other meetings. So I'll be taking your session. And uh, so this session, I believe is primarily taking care of uh, if you choose hospitality as a career. And I feel that most of you are still thinking about it. Uh, so when we, uh, uh, when we, you know, think about career, we feel and we always think that what is the work that I'll be doing in? What is the job that I'll be doing in? And, so, you know, uh, we realize that uh, probably that's not a very uh, macro level of understanding the concept because career is, is equal to work, which is really not correct. So when we talk about career, it's actually a life. So a life where you uh, learn, a life where you make relationships and a life where you balance activities of leisure as well as work. Because uh, when we talk about a career, we really are not thinking about like five years, 10 years or something. We are actually talking about like 15, 20, 25 years, 40 years that you give uh, yourself, I mean, your ears to a career. So it has to be very well thought. It cannot be drastic. It cannot be something that everybody uh, told you and that's why you joined. So it has to be something where you have done a research about it. Well, at your particular age and time, yes, uh, most of us and we all, and, and in fact, even we all have been very confused uh, we really don't know because we want to make a career, we want to be independent, but still are not very, uh, you know, confident about that. What is the area that we should choose? So I think the first thing is, and where Teachwell is also probably helping you out, is to think and research and explore and evaluate. So when I say this, it means that you're actually started thinking at this point of time, and you might be getting, let's say, four or five uh, areas or options that you're thinking. So let's say I'm thinking of, okay, you know, BBA, if or not hospitality, if not, let, let's say mass comm. Now, these are the options that are available to you. Now, what you need to do is that don't think that, uh, you know, wherever I'll get the opportunity and I'll join in. I think the right way would be that you start exploring each area, start finding out what this area is all about. And that's what teacher, you know, Teachwell is helping you that uh, what each industry offers you. And then probably think over, evaluate that, which are which is the industry that you feel uh, probably will give you the kind of exposure that you as a personality or you as an individual is looking for. So this is where I think what you need to choose is that your interests, your personality, your skills, your values, all of them should combine to your ideal career. So what, again, I'll emphasize the career is not something that you choose for like five years. And that is why you must have heard or, you know, seen that people leave their industry, let's say another five years, they did, you know, they did their engineering program, but probably after five, six years, they are not doing engineering that they are doing an MBA. Then when they did an MBA, then probably MBA is also not something that they have started enjoying. Then they started their own entrepreneurial. So it just takes away your years and probably you're still struggling. What am I supposed to do? So I think at this point of time, you should be also thinking about and talking about, okay, that, and if you know that what each area offers, what I'll be doing in engineering, what I'll be doing in mass comm, what I'll be doing if I do BBA. So, you know, I, do I have to do MBA for a job then? Or what I'll be doing when I'll be doing hospitality? So is it matching my personality? Is it something that I can relate to? I'll be enjoying it. Is it something that I am interested in? What my value system talks about? So all of these, when combined, you make a career for yourself. 
So this is a diagram which actually talks about uh, the traditional STEM. So we, you know, in our times and in probably your times as well, there, there's not much a significant change, but yes, we can see a change. Uh, that we used, uh, we can't think beyond On the, you know, PCB and PCM, and then nowadays, yes, it's ES, ES, but all the traditional careers. Obviously, this, you know, they have been here from a very long period of time, and uh, this is something that everybody talks about and everybody is aware about. Not many people are because this is something that you're actually, you know, uh, you know, you have start coaching and you start doing a lot of things from your 11th and 12th. But uh, this is not something that uh, you know most of us actually think about is your non-traditional careers which is your photography, animation, stockbroking, wellness. And these are few, you know, I, and the list can go endless. So I am here to talk about a non-traditional career option, which is your hospitality. So designing is the another one. So we will be covering up hospitality and tourism. So what this industry offers. I have uh, given this uh, slide only to tell you that even if you know the COVID is happening, as we in, as in India as a country, we have so much to offer that even our you know even our internal or uh, tourism or pan tourism or national tourism is something that can make us flourish. So, what is hospitality management and is it a career for you? Well, uh, you know, these are some of the data that I only sharing you for the reason is that. Uh, you know, pre-COVID, at least this is what the situation is. And all of us are in the, uh, you know, all of us have this understanding that the COVID situation is not something that is going to last, let's say, more than six months now. So, and we will get back and we will get back with more optimism and positivity. So according to WTTC, India ranked third among 185 countries in terms of travel and tourism contribution to GDP. So that means it's a lot of contribution. Uh, it's third as far as the industry is concerned, who has contributed to GDP of India. Ranked 34 in the travel and tourism competitiveness report, which says that yes, this travel and tourism has a lot to offer and we are growing each by every year. As of 2019, 4.2 crore jobs have been created in tourism sector in India, because this is something that hospitality industry never rests. Even in these times of the COVID situation, the hotels are thinking of new innovative ways on how to deliver services. And especially the essential items are something where retail have found their way. Uh, small, uh, you, know, uh, you know, things like uh, KFC and the quick service restaurants have found their ways for delivery. So essential items are something which will never go away. And if your service industry is uh, ready to serve those essential items, you are still part of the a growing industry. So, and uh, which is 8.1% of total employment. Uh, India travel and tourism industry has huge growth potential and especially the government is also favoring e-visa. So we see a lot of tourist inflow in India. Now, uh, careers in the hospitality. So if you want to understand the volume and variety of careers in the hospitality, do go to the, you know, HOSCO. That is, uh, you will realize that you have more than 34,000 open positions. A job portal that actually, uh, it's a job portal, HOSCO, and that across, uh, and that attracts, uh, it's, um, you know, globally, the employers from all around the world. And you do have kind of seminars and discussions that also happens in HOSCO. So you are most welcome to register there as a student to understand what hospitality industry is and uh, you know doing and how they are growing and what is exactly a new stuff which is coming up so it's a lot of which is coming up in the hospitality whether it's a virtual reality or artificial intelligence or people are talking about robots nowadays so so much happening with respect to this industry what is the hospitality and tourism industry well if you look at uh, the basic hospitality is the accommodation which we also call hotels what happens is that uh, you know uh, you provide lodging facility and that's why these hotels are made so that is called your uh, accommodation sector uh, which is hotel resorts vacation rental camping etc then you have food and beverage which is your restaurant nightclubs franchisee catering uh, which is also called institutional catering and food trucks travel which is airline cruise ships private jets and charters tourism excursions tour packages um, destination travel. So even India has a tourism board, which is incredible India. And you have many international offices of outside, uh, you know, tourism board as well. So you will find Hong Kong travel, you will find Singapore travel. So everybody has their travel 
destination marketing office here in India itself. Events management, which is so both social and the corporate, as well as sports and recreation, so which is private club, rentals, retail, etc. So these are the, uh, you know, these are the sectors which come under hospitality. So either you want to join hotels, or you want to join F and B, or you want to join travel and tourism, or you want to join events, or you want to join the retail consultancy, OTAs nowadays, online travel agents. So there's so much scope in the hospitality. So it's not that if you do a hospitality program, you will be only uh, joining up the hotels, no. So there are many opportunities that are, you know, growing beyond hotels. And our students have been working with the tourism organizations. Our students have been working, uh, you know, in the airline sector. Our students have been working with the restaurants uh, management training program. So there's a lot much to offer. So types of hotel careers, if I look at here, so one is hotel operations. So if you join hotels, so you can either join front office, you can either join f &B, you can either join housekeeping, you can either join food production. Uh, in fact, if you are joining hospitality, you are also can join HR finance, sales and marketing, public relations. Our students have been selected for HRs of one of the hotels and sales and marketing positions for one of the hotels. So it is just not that you are only doing front office or housekeeping or F&B or kitchens. You can join finance, sales, HR, marketing as well. Uh, you can join entertainment. So, you know, uh, many of my uh, colleagues, uh, the, those who are studying with me, have, are part of PVR cinema malls and, uh, you know, they are looking after their facility and operations. So you can actually join um, entertainment section there or event planning or uh, retail services. So uh, today, in today's time, the retail is Reliance and all the big stores like H&M, M&S, Marks & Spencer. So you can look after those retail positions as well. Luxury sector, which is your, you know, uh, highly VVIP catering and highly VVIP services that you can associate with food and beverage, like we just spoken on. So you can, uh, you know, opportunity if you are a bar expert, if you are a sommelier, if you're a wine expert and you understand different kinds of wines there. Uh, health and wellness is just coming up new. And again, the hospitality students are part of the health and wellness program. Online and technology, like I just mentioned, uh, that you have OTAs uh, like Expedia, Make My Trip, Yatra. So you can be part of these OTAs also. Um, if you are, uh, if you have some experience in hospitality and others like consultancy, like I just spoken on. So, you know, as two students were part of a consultancy called Cushman and Bakefield. If you get the time, do find out. So they, they do a lot of hospitality research. So if you are good in writing and if you are very good in analytical skills, yes, uh, this is something that you can also look forward to. So the gist of this particular slide is that again, that I want to say is that the hospitality graduates are just not only eligible for hotels. There are other service related industries, there are other industries related to service and tourism where you can also be part of. So there are some students who come to me, ma'am, I want to be, I want to be part of travel and tourism. So you, are, you can after doing this program. Some students who say I'm in again you know events is all about food events is all about um, uh, the uh, you can do hospitality program what are the benefits i think the best part is that uh, you know it uh, hospitality uh, offers you a career which is fun challenging it is not monotonous that every day nine to five kind of a job where you do different people and different cultures. So you learn a lot by interacting with different kinds of customers and people around you. So it's a people, pe uh, it's a people uh, industry where you will have people as a customer, you will have people as colleagues who are working with you. And it's a growing employment sector that offers good security opportunities to advance in a career for the future. So if you are part of a good chain, if you are part of a good brand, and if you have worked with their, and if you have worked with them for like two years, they offer you good career opportunities. Um, they even offer you that you can move out with good perks. 
and uh, the the other okay now this slide this slide actually talks about the hospitality opportunities start at entry level you know most of the times the students complain that we have done bba we have done mba but still we are not getting jobs or we are getting a jobs which you know which is not something a mba should get in now this is an industry uh, which makes you eligible for employment right after three years so hospitality uh, is something who are looking for fresh graduates so they are actually uh, looking for a personality which is an outgoing if you have an attitude to serve and provide quality service and if you have stronger work ethic and your uh, you know attitude is is very positive then hospitality industry actually works for you and every year you have opportunities that are open up only for fresh graduates so that's the best part okay uh, this is also amazing because hospitality careers require transferable skills now let's say if you have worked in the hospitality industry for like five seven years it opened doors for non-hospitality sectors as well which is technology based companies and uh, you know fmcg companies which is your consumer brands because what it requires is service excellence that means you have an eye for detail uh, you are operationally you are very expert culture and language skills you can interact with different kinds of people you can interact with different kinds of customer and uh, handle them and uh, you know handle their challenges and problems you have critical and creative thinking discipline work ethic teamwork communication so all these skills which are very much part of the hospitality is also applicable in other industries as well so for example one of my friends is working with dell in their customer wing sector so you know uh, and she has worked in the hospitality for let's say like nine eight nine ten years and after that she joined dell so obviously you know, because you know, she is the one because all these consumer i mean all these computer geeks probably they are not very good with respect to the consumer handling customer handling client handling so their customer service is something which is looked after by hospitality then you can join the consumer brands like nextle pepsico banking so you know most of our uh, graduates go for banking as well public service ngos and entrepreneurship so after at a certain period of time you are actually uh, you know uh, app, uh, your uh, competencies and skills are applicable for every industry that you can think of so uh, there is another concern which students are talking about especially our current student is that you know with the advent of artificial intelligence and virtual reality what will happen to the jobs that are created by uh, hospitality so will uh, robots will replace the uh, you know people around so you know and th there is a research that has happened that with respect to hospitality so i'm not talking about automobile which is probably run on the robots and the machinery when i'm talking about hospitality and service it requires relationship building it requires uh, you know i need people to talk to so when i go to the hotel when i go to the restaurant i need a particular dish which i really can't explain it to the robot so i'll need a chef around i'll need a someone whom i can explain see this is what my allergies are and this is what i am looking forward to so relationship building is something which will not done by the robots creativity so uh, you know a service is not standard service does not have a formula services are something which happens one to one and every consumer and every customer is different to us so what it means is that every experience will be different so that means that each interaction that i will have with my consumer will be different so again it has to be creativity and innovation based a robot can do can't do it managing the unpredictable so you know a robot probably is not prepared when you have uh, let's say a fire in a particular area so there is something that you will need uh, consumers to actually act on it and uh, you know make and ensure the customers are safe so something which is not predictable so you the machinery has all the formulas and all the pre related conversations that you can feed in but they really can't think of something which is not fed into the system so managing the unpredictable is something again that the humans will only be able to do it and that is why in service industry where people are required they will not be replaced by the robots 
okay so am i compatible for uh, this commitment yes so if you have an interest in food and changing styles if you're interested in food and if you're into, you know understanding uh, the history of the food how it came from you have a friendly and outgoing disposition good communication and interaction skills good organizing abilities and eye for detail and pleasant and cheerful personality so anyone who has even one of these or two of these skills are actually can look forward to join our industry which is hospitality you have to be ambitious creative and have the passion to work and contribute so you know you have to and anywhere you know you you become successful only when you are actually ambitious and passionate about a certain thing so if i don't enjoy what i do i will probably not be successful in that particular area so it's very very important that you enjoy that you understand and you are you know passionate about the work that is given to you i think i have spoken about this i can uh, you know repeat this the possible careers after hospitality so like i said the traditional roles are ki you can join front office you can join fnb you can be part of the kitchen or you can be part of the housekeeping but apart from that there are other things that you can do like i mentioned like you can be part of the hr sales and marketing revenue management you can be a food stylist a blogger you can do event management you can be part of public relations consultancy so there are so many things that you can do if you are a hospitality graduate and you can become an entrepreneur for sure so how do i get the best opportunity in the hospitality industry well i think it's uh, clearly it's hard to find another field that promises as much professional satisfaction so any day the one who chooses hospitality is professionally dealing with lot of skills and competencies and where do you learn you know these competencies so you have few uh, colleges which are very good and uh, you know if i have to uh, i will not like to name anyone but yes if you do your research you will find out that you have few um, in delhi few in gurgaon and other places of ncr as well so it's all about uh, you know uh, if you get selected in there yes you should join it well i'll be talking about uh, vedatya which is in gurgaon so it's almost like 20 years now uh, we have been uh, producing hospitality graduates our owners are from radisson delhi and varanasi and we are also the owners of kebab factory uh we have an undergraduate programs uh, especially with respect to hospitality i'll be talking about so we have lots of program otherwise but i'll be talking about pro phml program which is program in hospitality management and leadership it's a normal 3 year program which exposes you to the hospitality uh, modules as well as management modules the other program that we have just started is called program in hospitality and service leadership now this will be a four year program it's in an and this uh, pro yeah, this course is in collaboration with mmu mmu is manchester metropolitan university where three years you will study with us and fourth year you will be doing it with the mmu industry partnerships i think uh, i uh, one of our usp which is a unique selling point so if you can say one of our differentiator is that we do a lot of industry related activities in fact our more, uh, subjects in that we teach you is something which is industry verified so you know industry um, you know like a front office managers like gms consultants have actually gone through our subjects have actually gone through our syllabus and we have ensured that we are not teaching you anything which is not even valid or which is which people have actually stopped using that used to happen like 20 years before or 15 years before so our syllabus that way is quite up to date we do a lot of life projects so you know there is no point teaching an entrepreneurial skill if i can't give you the life experience so we have a food truck at vedatya where you actually run the food truck you do the sales you do the finance you do marketing and you do everything so to ensure that how to get this food truck into a profits we do a lot of demo uh, classes with respect to we call the industry people around and we also visit hotels and the other and the other related service organizations we have also done workshops for uh, the major brands so we actually do workshops for employees of hyatt 
IAGs, Intercontinental Hotels Group, Ginger is uh, one of the sister concern for the Taj groups and Radisson as well. We have on co campus corporate sports events. So what we do is like an IPL, we organize hospitality cricket league where all the hospitality brands, like I just mentioned, Hyatt, uh, you know, Park Plaza, Radisson, uh, Taj, Oberoi's, they all come and participate uh, in the cricket. And, uh, you know, in fact, uh, we if we have our students team ready, our students also play with the employees of these brands. Uh, then we have industry speakers, like I just mentioned, they come and uh, give lectures to our students. We organize chef competitions, uh, you know, where we call the students from the school, we call even uh, the corporate chefs of these brands and organize a competition amongst them. And we also do round tables. So we do a lot of round tables again on a certain theme uh, where we invite uh, participants to talk on a certain topic that is probably uh, industry wants to talk about. Uh, student life is quite, uh, you know, interesting here at Vedatya because we have in-house campus. We do a lot of uh, competitions. We do a lot of activities. And, uh, you know, the crux of that activity is that our students should learn everything from there. And it should not be just only entertainment. So, you know, there are certain things that you learn when you do these activities like teamwork, pressure handling, your leadership skills come out. So these are the things that we do as well. Uh, we have a farm to fork concept. So our uh, institute has farms inside the campus and students are also part of doing some farming activities there too. This is our campus picture. And I wanted to share, yes, these are, uh, if I tell you my placement distribution, so you can look at, uh, look at the brands that have visited us for placements, whether it's the Rosiette, Westin, the Ahuja Residency, Oberoi's, Lemon Tree, Nimbrana, Intercontinental, DLF, Marriott, Trident. So you can see all possible uh, brands that are, uh, you know, associated and have selected our students. Uh, if you look at the distribution by positions, so, uh, you know, 32% students have been selected as management trainee with these brands. And then they have been selected in front office, service, production, sales and marketing, human resource, housekeeping, and even management too. Uh, internship distribution. Now these are, uh, you know, our students have the option of either doing the internship in India or outside India. So these are a few places where students have gone outside India, which is Thailand, France, UAE, Malaysia, and Mauritius. Uh, these are the city-wise distribution that can talk about that every city from India to outside where our students have been, whether it's the St. Martin or it's Abu Dhabi or Varanasi or Dubai or Mumbai or Gurugram. So it depends on where students want to do their internship and we assist them in getting the internship there. Uh, now, this is the internship distribution by brands. So again, if you look at our brands, we have every possible brand, though our owners are Radisson Delhi, uh, we are IAG Academy, but still uh, you will find all, and IAG means Intercontinental Hotels Group, whether, you know, and their hotels are like Crown Plaza and Holiday Inn. So apart from Crown Plaza and Holiday Inn, you will realize that there are other Pullman, uh, Marriott and Fraser Suites. So everybody is visiting us and taking our students. Uh, these are the few photographs of our campus. This is our herb garden. And this is the visit to the Radisson Hotel. And this is again a visit to the Electrolux uh, to understand the difference of our campus. Uh, this is the top view of our campus. You can see the farms here. We do a lot of all farming activities here. This is the outside event that uh, students have organized. Uh, this is our, one of our restaurants, which is Farms View. Uh, this is our hostel room. And this is our students who are actually playing a cricket match. Okay, uh, so I am uh, ready for the questions, if you have any. So I can take questions one by one. Students, if you have any questions, you can ask, you can unmute yourself and you can ask a question. Uh, hey, unmute yourself and tell me what particular stream that, what, what is your question, if you can be specific here. Yeah. 
if i may answer if you are not you know if you do not want to unmute yourself a particular stream yes uh, after doing a generic program of hospitality i meant in the 11th grade no so i think all students are uh, welcome whether you are from science background or you are from commerce background or you are from humanities background so everybody can apply it and um, if you have uh, you know if you have a if you are interested in kitchen and if your schools offer home science then yes it probably it can give you a great help okay any other question i think uh, that's it ma'am i don't see any question now okay ma'am okay ma'am uh, thank you so much for giving thank us the ma opportunity thank you thank you ma'am